I think how buildings are built is fascinating. I definitely find beauty in scaffolding and layering of linear qualities. I am an interdisciplinary artist that primarily works in site-specific installation. I was really drawn to rapidly changing urban environments and wanted to figure out a way that I could talk about them and the temporality of the, the environment we're living in. Even though I've lived in the city for 18 years almost, urban environments to me are still in some way like this new and different um, experience, uh, especially as Seattle is transforming. Most of um, my work over the last couple years has been about um, creating a structure cut out of paper, so it's, it's a void, it's an empty space. The image itself is empty, but yet we see it. Um, so I'm just kind of interested in how absence plays an important role um, in talking about a quickly changing city. As you know, buildings get taller and the neighborhoods get denser and we're you know, traversing construction sites, how do we interact with our, the world around us differently? Do you feel smaller and more sort of constrained by it? Or is that exciting and amplified? I was really thinking a lot about how buildings that are built today are really rigid and all the lines are straight and everything is very perfect and there's parallel lines and perpendicular lines. And I've just really kind of pursued a visual language um, to talk about the superstructures and the architectural frameworks that are around us. In my installation at Mad Art, The Presence of Absence, um, I used primarily um, hand-cut paper, wood. I used some matte mylar um, for its translucency and some parchment. All of the paper pieces are hand cut using a number 11 X-Acto blade and a straight edge. I cut on a wall, so I spend a lot of time doing this. And each piece takes about 20 hours to cut. As each small section is cut out, it releases and then over time reveals the larger image. And, and that last cut is always really satisfying because that's when the paper falls down and the space is revealed. In a lot of my projects, I use light as a material, and often that's applied light that I have a lot of control over. Because this exhibition was in the summer, um, I wanted to really focus on the natural light in the space and how it would interact with the works. And one of the big challenges for me was figuring out where the light would be strong, how it was going to move over the course of the summer, and what happens when it's a cloudy day. So there was this additional layer that changed throughout the day, depending on when you visited. And for me, that was a, a new way of working because I didn't have control, but I felt like it was another layer that was really beautiful and dynamic. During times of day when the sunlight would project through the paper structures, that image would project onto the floor and almost feel um, like a building or a cityscape in its own and this like soft glowing light that as the sun moved, the projection would get longer and more stretched out. We all have opinions about change and it takes a while to adjust to them, but I think for me, I just, I hope that people see what, what's interesting about this like moment in time that is a moment of transformation where we see the inside of buildings, we see scaffolding, we see structures being built and it won't always be like that. Eventually these buildings will be complete. So what does it mean to interact with those and be more aware of um, the qualities of our surroundings?